What's going on guys, Prodigy here, and today's video we're going to be talking about LV Prime. Now, we're going to be talking about this because I made a similar video about LT Corbis, and it actually did pretty well, so I want to go and share my opinions on this topic as well. So, my friend uh, King No actually made a video on this as well, so make sure to go and check him out. My opinions might be a little bit similar to his, and uh, King No actually met... Um, LV Prime in real life, I believe, so I might go and add like a little Twitter snippet here that he put. LV Prime up in here. Um, LV Prime. Yo, um, yo, fuck your channel, dude. Fuck you. Anyways, who is LV Prime and how did he get famous? Now, I don't know his exact age. I believe he's like 12. I know that he's in middle school, so, um, there's that. And he has only been on YouTube for about a month. Now, who is he and like how did he get popular so if you guys don't know basically phase apex made a video about this kid because this kid made a video uh, in school because he made a, a presentation about phase apex and phase apex uh reacted to it and um naturally from that i mean of course you're probably going to go and get maybe a few thousand subscribers like even people that leafy made videos on they end up getting maybe around like 4k subscribers or something like that so i assume this kid got quite a little bit from that video but that actually wasn't the main jump start of his channel what happened after that is the kid actually got a failing grade on his presentation and phase apex made another video about it and uh talked about how it was unfair and how he like emailed the teacher and everything and uh, he actually said to go and subscribe to um this kid quite a bit of people actually ended up subscribing to him he currently has 287k his oldest video is um from three weeks ago now here's the fact okay there, we're gonna go and do some similarities and differences between lt corbis and um LV Prime. Now, the first similarity is they both have um they both of them start with L. I don't I don't know what's with the uh, people growing on YouTube that start with L, but you know, like Leafy, LT Corbis, LV Prime, like what what is all these L's going on here? But anyways, that's uh, minus that. Um I think that LT Corbis actually has a good personality. Like not 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 exactly a good personality, but she has a, a personality that actually has meaning to it, and that's kind of like entertaining, and that's different and not generic like everybody else. And I don't know, it seems like her personality is more, I guess, vibrant and colorful, and it just seems like very entertaining. Whereas LV Prime's personality, in my opinion, he just seems kind of like an average kid that plays Call of Duty. Like I. I'm not, like, here to go and, like, throw any hate or anything or any harsh words, but, like, it doesn't really seem that he puts, like, that much emphasis onto, like, whatever he's talking now. I know that he just started doing commentaries, and when you start doing commentaries, no matter what, you're going to be soft-spoken or whatever, but I think that he should, you know, try to be a little bit more louder in some ways and maybe be a little bit less, like, um... I guess, I guess the correct word to use would be shy. Like, it seems like he's shy now. Of course, I would be too if I had maybe like like 10 subscribers and then I just boosted up to like 200,000. I mean, especially at that age, I would be really, really, I don't know, I guess just like freaked out or overwhelmed perhaps. I It does seem that a lot of people are mad at him because, I mean, think about it. Imagine you spend your entire YouTube career, you know, making videos and then this kid just comes around and then he gets 200k in a week. And, you know, you spent your entire time, like, you spent years on YouTube and you haven't even earned that much. Like... I, I can kind of see where both, you know, how both people feel in that situation because like if somehow I just get like 200k out, out of nowhere, I'm, I'm sure some people would obviously be pretty mad about that, but to, in my point of view, I would be extremely happy. Like, I, I it, like, to, to like actually make it big on YouTube is probably a, a dream that's kind of out of reach, I guess you can say, but I can see how some people would get mad at this as well because like, in, in my opinion, I, I don't really think that he deserves 200k. Now, it's not really his fault for doing this. It's like, I mean, FaZe Apex didn't make a video on him and it's not really FaZe Apex's fault either. I don't really think anybody's at fault here, um, but I... I just don't think that his content is worth that amount. Like, I'm, I watched one of his videos earlier before watching this video, or before making this video, and he talked about how he made his he makes his videos on iMovie. Now, his editing isn't exactly that bad. However, it's not anything fantastic. Now, I think that he should go and try to um, get some editing software. Like, you can even you could pirate Sony Vegas. Like, you don't even need to really buy it. I mean, I'm sure that he can probably. Um, get something that can help him out with that and get some proper editing software, maybe a proper computer, especially with all the money that he could be making uh, on YouTube. Now, I don't know if he actually has ads running through his videos. I haven't really checked that or not, but if he is, then shit, dude, he can... 
he definitely could afford a new computer and he can definitely you know vamp up the quality like uh, i'm sure if anybody got a shit ton of subscribers they would try to go and make you know as best quality as i can now i'm not saying his content is shit but i'm just saying that i i think he could do better i think that he can you know try to at least be more open i guess and less shy now i he is in a clan and i don't think that he should um i'm not saying i don't think he should be in one but it seems like people would try to like use him i think that he should like actually start his own clan if not become like the leader of lv because i i don't even know i don't really know if he's actually the leader or not of lv i haven't really seen that or not but if he isn't the leader i i think that he should try to um not be used i guess like because people in his clan might see it as, a, as an advantage because they're like yo my friend just got 200k yo what if i can actually make a youtube career by you know maybe being friendly with him maybe collabing with him now i'm sure he's getting so many collab offers right now and even at my subscriber range it happens sometimes and it's sad to say that i have to turn people down like if you generally like enjoy playing with me and stuff then sure i'll go and collab with you i'll make videos with you and stuff you know for like funny moments and stuff like that but like if you're just looking at me as like a number then I, honestly i don't really want to like talk to you i guess you can say like i don't think that i would in enjoy that because like i'm gonna go and give a little story time uh back when i had like around 800 subs this one kid uh hit me up and that's when i did minecraft content and i i honestly just the one dig i, I clobbed with him right he only had like i don't know like 20 subs what happened was i'm actually gonna go and get a little bit off topic i'm sorry here guys but what happened is uh after I record with him, he's like, oh, so when do I get subscribers? I'm like, well, what the fuck do you mean? Like, uh, you you weren't guaranteed subscribers. I literally just played with you. Like, I, I'm not going to go and, like, ship you subscribers. That's not even possible. Like, you can't just go and ship somebody subscribers. They're not, like, a thing. People have to go and choose to go and check you out. Like, even in the video, this kid didn't even talk that much. I don't know. I don't know if the video is still up on my channel or not. But he didn't even really talk in the video, number one. Number two, it, he, it felt like he kind of, like, used me. Number three... He kept on begging people on PayPal to go and send him money to this email, right? Because apparently this, his, his friend's family died, right? But literally in this email, it says his name. It's not even the family's email. So this kid was trying to go and use me. He tried to go and scam me and other people, I assume, as well. So honestly, I don't really think that, you know... I, I think that in, in his point of view, like... I, I think that he should try to be more closed, but, like... I think he should be open to his fans and be accepting towards them. But I don't think that he should go and, um... I think that he should create some sort of barrier between him and people that try to use him because it seems like his clan might go and end up doing that. But if they're still friends with him now, then I, I guess it's all right. I mean, it's not okay to use people, but if if he's okay with like giving them shoutouts and stuff, then I guess everything's okay. But that's my opinion on the subject. Now, I've been making YouTube videos since 2012, and I mentioned this in the LT Corpus video as well. And when I see somebody boom up like this, I mean, back when I started making videos, they weren't really the best content. They like I I haven't even started making i guess quality videos until about a month ago in my opinion at least i think these videos are somewhat decent now but even though i still like started in 2012 like it's just kind of um it's kind of depressing seeing how somebody could like grow that fast um in that quick of time and then you're literally you're stuck at this number and your youtube analytics are going down at the current moment and you want to fucking kill yourself because this depression is just too much okay like i want to commit seppuku right now no i'm just kidding guys but um, anyways, I can see how, you know, I would be a little bit jealous, but then I guess it also shows how there's hope on YouTube. Anybody can make it from anywhere, and it just shows that, you know, you just need a little bit of a jump start from somebody bigger. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you, um, respect my opinion on this. If you guys don't like my opinion, I guess you can go and leave a dislike or whatever, or you can go and yell at me in the comments or something, I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video, and Prodigy X117 is out. Mark sadness from my